I'm going to bring up uh, Diego Castellanos. Diego, he is the chair of our scholarship committee. He also is the longest running air personality on WPVI TV. He hosts a, pro a program called Puerto Rican Panorama, Sundays at 1 p.m. unless it's football season. And then they, what, they bury you like Sunday at 5 a.m., right? I remember when I was at DAS, you got, when we moved from AM to FM to the format, we were doing 432 minutes of news on AM, but we said, oh, we're going to make the FCC happy. We're going to do 551 minutes on FM. Well, today, of course, that's where the money is, and they're stuck with the commitment. So we were running one-hour newscast at 3 o'clock in the morning when... <laughs> Hardly anybody is out there listening to make sure we, mi we made our commitment. Uh, anyhow, Diego, come on up. Thank you, Jerry. As a footnote uh, to Jerry's story about, co about picking up things that have disappeared, when Channel 6 moves from the round building to the new rectangular all glass building that we have now, they destroyed the round building with stuff in it. My tapes were there. Uh, you know, things from, uh, I, I mean, Captain Noah's shows, uh, Albert's, you know, uh, Th things that, that were irreplaceable. Now, don't you know that Jerry got permission to go into the ruins of the building? It had already been you know, destroyed. Jerry actually crawled in there on his belly and dragged out boxes of tapes that he salvaged. So... Uh, it gives you an idea how dedicated this man is to, to, to what we do. <clears throat> now, besides me, our scholarship committee consisted of the chairman of the board, Jerry Wilkinson, our president, Jerry Klein, uh, whom you already met, vice presidents, Bill Gellhouse and Paul Gluck, our treasurer, Pat Delcy, and brother Jerry Molinaux, Dr. Betsy Livron, Alan Kovernick, Karen Curry, and the uh, former CBA, uh, six ABC Vice President Linda Munich. Please help me to thank these folks for all the time they put into this. Let me just say a word here. Um, Today is the second day of Passover, and we had discussed whether or not we should be moving the luncheon to a different day. But you're going into a business, Herb Clark, who did the weather for 40 years on Channel 10, always told the story. For 39 years, I did the weather on Thanksgiving, and a student said to him, what happened the other year? And he said, the news director liked me, and he let me take it as a day's vacation. Okay, now, last year, we had our scholarship meeting, the final day, Brother Jerry is here somewhere, and it was on Good Friday. The thing is, you're going to work the holidays, you're going, you know, you're not gonna be with your family, and realistically, this is the way the business is. Um, you're not gonna be with your family on birthdays. You're gonna be lucky to see them. You're gonna be lucky to see the crumbs of the cake. But, <laughs> no, am I wrong? You, you are, you're gonna be lucky to, to see that. Jerry is not trying to discourage you from going into broadcasting. <laughs> um, 
However, he's telling you the truth. Now, the committee that I just uh, introduced, the, the, whose names I just uh, gave you, uh, we screened 252 applications. We had to select 20 winners out of 252. As you can imagine, it was not an easy task because there were a lot of winners there, a lot more than 20, that deserved the scholarship. We only had 20 scholarships. And today we're giving out, actually 20 is, is a record number uh, of scholarships. This is the highest number of scholarships that we have ever given uh, in any year. 20 students are being honored today. Now, some scholarship money comes from our annual Hall of Fame banquet in November. But most scholarships are donated by our own members and benefactors. And I'm gonna just give you a short list of some of those. The following were sponsors of, uh, of some of the scholarships uh, today. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to read my own notes and, uh, and that's difficult. Okay, here are, here, are, here are the folks who sponsored uh, scholarships. And if you're here, please come up so people can recognize you and people can see you. Okay, uh, Barry Levine. Yes. Levine. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Levine. Uh, Esther Kurtz who sponsored a scholarship in memory of her late husband, David Kurtz, founder of WBEB More FM. <laughs> Harry Hurley of the Hurley in the Morning Golf Tournament. Yeah. Ira and Robin Ottelman. I'm sorry, Ehrman. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I am Robin Ehrman. Lance Stevens. Leon Love. Our Alan Campbell in memory of Mac McGuire. Sylvia Cutters. Carl Rodman sponsored not one, but two scholarships. Is Carl here? Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, I saved the best for last. Johnny and Jeannie Hall, seven scholarships. <laughs> seven. Here's Johnny and Jenny. Without these generous donations, we could not provide as many scholarships as we will be doing today. Now, to the scholarship recipients, this check is only the first step in our effort to help you. Keep in touch. Keep checking our website. Network with each other and network with us, broadcast pioneers. Success is not only based on what you know, but as Jerry pointed out before, is often uh, success is often achieved by who you know. I want to especially thank the parents of the students. You know, without you, <laughs> uh, obviously I don't need to tell you that without you, they would not be here. Without you, they would not be getting the type of education that they are uh, enjoying at this point. So. You know, uh, as a parent myself, I, I know what it takes to be a parent, so we want to especially thank you. <clears throat> Last but not least, as I say, uh, I just want you to understand something 
that we who are broadcast in the Broadcast Pioneers organization know, the, know this already, uh, but uh, some of you who are here for the first time may not. Um, Jerry Wilkinson, the, the man that spoke, to, to, to the man who introduced me, uh, Jerry Wilkinson, uh, he is committed 24 hours a day, committed to this organization and what it stands for. And now for the, for the best part, uh, the, uh, the checks to the, uh, to the winners. When I call your name, will you come up? Uh, you'll be handed the check. Please come up to the mic, say a couple of words, just so we know what you sound like. And if by any chance, and I do this a lot, but if I, by any chance I mispronounce your name, when you come up, correct, say your name, so that folks here know uh, what your name should be like. So, uh, have them on tape when they take over from Brian Williams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. From Temple University, Grace Schimmel. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's nice to be everyone in here. Thank you. Say your name. Grace Chimmel. Okay. <laughs> just, make, just make it here. <clears throat> From La Salle University, Cody Barr. I'm Cody Barr. I just wanted to say thank you to the Broadcast Pioneers. Um, getting this two years in a row is really something special and it means a lot to me, so thank you. From uh, Rowan University, Lindsay Giannini. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Giannini, I'm from Rowan University. You can see me compete for the Miss New Jersey organization and the Miss America organization this June. And I've been lucky enough to go to some of the symposiums the broadcast pioneers have put on and to receive the scholarship is such an honor, so I thank everyone who made this possible. Thank you. Every time I introduce someone, to the mic, they have to do one of two things. They have to either lift the mic up or bend down as I speak. I, I understand why. Uh, it's been like that all my life. <laughs> From Temple University, Micolina Hernandez. Hi, I'm Mickey or Michalina Hernandez, and I just want to thank everyone. And it's very nice to meet all of you. And I'm uh, I'm a little bit older, I think, than the rest of the uh, scholarship winners. So I'm especially honored, 12 years after graduating high school, to be able to do this. So thank you very much. From the University of Delaware. Daniel Andrade. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Andrade. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who made this possible. I'm gonna use the money to help me go abroad for a communications program, which I'm really excited about. And it's so nice to be in a room full of such inspirational people, so thank you. From Cabrini College, Lauren Height. Uh, 
<laughs> um, hi everyone, my name is Lauren Height from Cabrini College, and it really is an honor, I think, like one of my fellow recipients said, to um, be sitting here with all these really awesome people. So thank you again, and I'm really looking forward to speak with, the, um, speak with you guys afterwards. So thank you again. From Temple University, Tyler Horst. Hi, uh, my name is yep, Tyler Horst. Um, thank you to Broadcast Pioneers for uh, hosting this event. I'm going to be using this money to fund a study away experience this summer, working with media outlets in Johannesburg, South Africa. So thank you for helping fund that experience. From Drexel University, Thomas Perkins. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Perkins, I'm from Drexel, and I just want to thank everyone for making this possible and selecting me as one of the winners. Thank you. From Gwyneth Mercy University, Ann Lee Rodriguez. That should be Anna Lee, not Anna Lee. Anna Lee. Hi, I'm Anna Lee Rodriguez, and I'd like to thank you. I'm really honored. Um, this summer, I'll actually um, be interning for the National Basketball Association, which is a dream come true. So, um, thank you for helping me go through this journey. So. <laughs> From Temple University, Grace Nonemaker. Hi everyone, I'm Grace Nonemaker from Temple University and I just wanted to say thank you so much. I'm really honored that I was chosen to, for the scholarship, so thank you. From LaSalle University, Mike Brown. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Brown from LaSalle University. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for your kindness and generosity. Uh, I'll be using this money this upcoming fall to complete the Disney College program and uh, get to work down in Disney World. Uh, I'd like to also specifically thank Brother Jerry for tuning me into this opportunity. So thank you, Brother Jerry. From Temple University, Kevin Ot Ot Ori. I'm Kevin Ott. A lot of people mispronounced it. I was originally from Germany, so it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an editor by trades, and I love archiving shows that we do for TUTV, just like Jerry Wilkinson. I have to make sure that it's around for the future. Um, and thank you to Broadcast Pioneers. It's a huge honor. From Kutztown University, Catherine McMeans. Hi, I'm, I'm Kate from Kutztown University. Um, it is such an honor to be in this room with so many talented and passionate people and 
Thank you so much to the broadcast pioneers for your generosity. Um, as someone who's had to like work full time to put themselves through college, now almost eight years after graduating high school, it's through generosity like the broadcast pioneers have shown me that I'm able to finally graduate. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> From Temple University, Taylor Plunkett Clemens. Hi, I'm Taylor Plunkett Clements from Temple University. I just want to thank everybody who made this possible and who picked me to get a scholarship this year. Um, thank you so much. It's such an honor. <laughs> Last year, we asked the, uh, uh, the students what they wanted to do uh, on, on, uh, in broadcasting. I think all of them, maybe one exception or so, they wanted to be a weather person on television. <laughs> Not because it was easy, because, but because they thought that was the most popular personality uh, on, on television. They were thinking about Cecily Tynan and Adam Joseph. Uh, we didn't ask that question this year. <laughs> uh, from uh, the uh, University of Delaware, Briella Tomasetti. Hi everyone, I'm Briella Tomasetti from the University of Delaware, and that's really funny you mentioned meteorology because I've been studying that since I was like in sixth grade, staring out the window, uh, window and looking at thunderstorms. <laughs> so it's actually something I really enjoy. Um, thank you broadcast pioneers for making this possible. And my professor Lydia Timmons is not here today because she broke her ankle. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to her as well. And I have a funny story real quick. Jerry Wilkinson called me when I was in Florida tanning by the pool and it was on April Fool's day and I thought that it was a joke that I had won the competition <laughs> but uh, thank you to everybody um, this is really a great honor <laughs> from Stockton College Sutton Packingham Laltrero Hi everybody, um, my name is Sutton Packenham Latrello and I'm from Stockton College and I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I'll be using this money towards a um, summer class of communications class over the summer at Stockton College. So thank you everybody. From Temple University, Sarah Veronis. I'm Sarah Veronis, and I just want to say how grateful I am for this scholarship, and I really hope I can have half the career as any of you in this room, so thanks. From Rowan University, Kyle Filippi. from Rowan University. Uh, I've been fortunate along the way to receive a lot of help from some of the best personalities in Philadelphia and Dan Baker and Gary Cobb. So I just have to thank them, as well as my parents who have driven me to numerous sporting events. 
some of them which have been over five hours long just so I can cover an event. Um, so I just have to give thanks to, thanks to them. And of course to the broadcast pioneers as well. From La Salle University, Andia de Gil. Hello, my name is India Duguay. Um, I'm actually from New York, um, New York City, so I'm really glad to be here. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity and glad to sit with my fellow LaSallians, Go Explorers, and Brother Jerry and Matt there. Thank you for also representing LaSalle. And again, thank you, Broadcast Pioneers. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Again, getting the call on April Fools um, <laughs> was very nerve-wracking. But um, I'm so glad that people who aren't even my family are able to support me and it can help me continue my education. So thank you so much. I'm sorry about mispronouncing some of those names. Uh, you know, uh, my name is Castellanos, and I'm often referred to as Cat's Pajamas. <laughs> so, <laughs> I promise not to mispronounce the next one. From Temple University, Lydia Young. I'm Lydia Young, I'm from Temple University, and I'm gonna be using this money to help pay for my tuition. So I think I speak for every recipient here that it is such a blessing to be able to receive um, help when paying for college, because we all know it's really expensive. So thank you so much, and thank you for your generosity. Thank you. 